Now we're back in the virtual classroom and it's time for us to click on the manipulatives box. This is our box of hands-on goodies. We're going to be using and choosing uh, so different things from this library today. And we are going to begin by choosing the base 10 box, which is down here in the lower corner of the manipulatives library. When we get to the base 10 blocks, let's just do a little bit of a review. And let's remember that our ones blocks are right here. And we need in our tens blocks right here and hundreds blocks right here. So remember, it takes 10 ones to equal a 10 and 10 tens to equal 100. So you will be clicking and dragging what you need. You can also just click and it'll put them out on the screen like this. And then you can move them to where you want them to be. We're going to be using these to build um, different numbers today. So that's just kind of an idea of how this works. We're going to go ahead and click the start over button on the side green bar. And for today's activity, what I want you to do is start in the manip manipulatives library and click on the dice. They're on the top row. When you get to the dice, we're going to choose three dice. They could have different numbers up there. Maybe there's only two dice. Maybe there's four. But we're going to start with a nice three-digit number. We're going to roll the dice. And the digits that come up are what we use to create our number. So in this specific um, instance, we have rolled a six, a two, and a three. So we can make the number 623. We can make the number 236. So once you decide what number you want, let's say we want number 236, we're gonna go back to our manipulatives library to the base 10 blocks, and we're gonna build that number. So the number we said we wanted, let's write it at the top here, was 236. Perfect. All right. So in the ones column, we have a digit of six. That means six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six for a value of six. We can even take those ones and move them, drag them across the screen to, whoops, to our, I am not grabbing that block, okay. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have a value of six in the ones column. Now we go to our tens column. In our tens column, we have a value of three. So if I have three tens, that means I have a value, count by tens, of what? If you said 30, you are right. So we count by tens for 10, 20, and 30. Okay. Then we have two in the hundreds column. So if I have two 100 blocks, I can count by hundreds, 100, 200, I have a value of 200 in the ones column, two hundreds. So when we read this number, we go by our base 10 blocks, we start with the hundreds column when we read the number, 236. So what I want you guys to do is three times, I want you to go back and roll those dice, get your new number, and then I want you to go into the base 10 blocks, and I want you to build that number. I want you to also think about the value of that number and how much each particular digit is worth in that number. Have fun!